Hey guys, Guy Level here. And ooh, today we're gonna be talking about IGTV. Okay, what is IGTV? IGTV, first of all, is short for Instagram TV. It's a new platform, a new way for content creators to share their work. So the reason why I say um, content creators because it's very different than the um, typical Instagram user. You cannot record straight from your phone, for example. So they even came out with a brand new app called the IGTV app, um, but you can also access it from your Instagram account. The content on IGTV is meant to be seen on IGTV. IGTV. Now how to access IGTV? You must know that there's a brand new app called IGTV on your app store, whether you're on Android or Apple, just go to your app store and download it now. The other way to access it would be from your Instagram app. You just click on the top right. I think there's an icon. I'm not sure it's going to stay there for long, but you can also access IGTV from there. So far, as far as I know, there isn't a IGTV separate website, nor there's really a way to access all the functionalities of IGTV from a desktop. So it's mostly going to be a mobile thing with that mobile app. Okay, now you downloaded the app, you're going to open the app. Of course, it's going to ask you to log in with your Instagram account. Once you've done that, you can already see people that you follow that are already on IGTV. Well, if you have any. So on that welcome page, you will see uh, different stuff. You're going to see the For You tab. It's basically a mix between people you follow and stuff that Instagram thinks you would like. You'll have the following tab, which I don't really have to explain. This is the people you follow. You will have the popular tab. Those are the most popular um, videos on IGTV right now. Continue watching is if you start watching a video and then you quit the app or something, it's gonna put it there and you can continue watching it later. You also have the search bar, which is pretty important because this is where you will find creators. I thought it was gonna be kind of like the discovery, but it's not really. So far now on the search bar on IGTV, you can only find creators, so channels. So that means you cannot search with hashtags, for example. And we're gonna be talking about hashtag a little bit later. Now, if you're not a creator and you just want to um, view those videos, you're pretty much all set. Once your account is linked to your Instagram, you can just watch all the videos from there. But if you're a creator and you wish to uh, eventually upload stuff to IGTV, you can click on the little gear, the settings, um, and then click on create channel. You actually have to create that channel. And then once you're there, um, your channel is actually already created. So you can just tap on your own um, profile and it will bring you there. So once you're on your profile, you can see uh, no videos yet, upload video. You can click there to uh, upload a video or you can tap on the right side on the little plus to upload a video straight from your phone. Now, something to keep in mind is that you cannot record videos straight from your phone and upload them as you would on the normal Instagram or Instagram stories. You absolutely have to upload. You need to have content already on your phone. Plus, there is a couple of restrictions that we're going to go over. So let's talk about the video restrictions. If you want to have your channel up, you need to upload videos and you need to know what kind of videos you can and what kind of videos you can't upload. So the restrictions are the following. First of all, your video must be from 15 seconds to 10 minutes max. If you try uploading a video that is less than 15 seconds, it's not going to accept it. If it's more than 10 minutes, it's not going to accept it either. Apparently, if you're verified or if you have bunch of followers, you can actually upload up to 60 minutes. Hmm. Anyways, your file format must be MP4. That is mostly if you're uploading from desktop. Oh, did I mention you can upload for desktop? More on that a little bit later. And the format has to be at least four by five or nine by 16. So it's a uh, minimum four by five, maximum nine by 16. If you don't know about video formats, don't worry about it. It's basically vertical video. That's all you need to know. Let's briefly talk about file size. Your maximum file size for a 10 minute video Video, for example would be 650 megabytes if it's more than that it's not gonna accept it and if you're verified you can go up to 5 gigs for that 60 minute video that you have verify me Instagram okay now you know the requirements let's go back to the mobile and uh, let me show you um, what it will look like when you try to upload from your phone basically it's gonna go through all the folder it's gonna search all the folders where you have videos that are um, compatible with the requirements so if you have videos that are not in the specific format that are not more than 15 seconds it will actually not even show them to you so you can't upload them from your phone you can't even see them when you're trying to upload so do not panic do not panic when you see that so once you find a video on your phone that fits the requirements you can just tap on it 
it's gonna pick the first frame as a generated cover so you can type your title you can also type a brief description of what it is so a lot of people have been asking me about the hashtags how do they work do they work um, if you put hashtags people can click on your description and click on those hashtags and be brought to the Instagram hashtag section so the big question is can people access IGTV videos through those hashtags honestly I don't know I don't know I haven't seen it I don't think it's gonna be a thing if you guys have more information about this than I do clearly I don't um, please clarify it in the comment section below I would love to know more about this so on mobile when you click on edit cover it's gonna bring you through the video and you'll be able to choose a specific frame to be the cover of your video obviously you need to find the most interesting frame and then when you click done you will see the progress bar on your video while it's uploading and of course once it's uploaded you can just click on your name to access your channel and view the video straight from the IGTV app so people can like those videos people can comment those videos people can even share those videos through direct messages and if you click on the little option thing you can even find a link to that video so you can share the link cross-platform i'd say so that's it on mobile now the huge advantage is that you can actually upload videos from your desktop yes that means if you do professional video and, and all of that and you don't want the inconvenience of downloading it from your phone and uploading from your phone, you can totally upload videos straight to your IGTV from your desktop. And let's, let's show you that. So as I said before, there isn't a specific website. There isn't a new link. You actually have to go to your Instagram page or on desktop, okay? So go to your Instagram page, so Instagram.com slash whatever your name is on Instagram and get there. So when you get there, you will see your profile, your pictures and everything, but you will see a new tab in the middle right here that says IGTV. And this is where you can click and find your previously uploaded videos, but also this is where you can upload new videos. So if you hadn't created an account yet, this is another Instagram account. So we're going to go through the creating an account process. It's going to show you all of that. Just click next, 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 next. And boom, your account is created and you are ready to upload a video. So this is what the upload screen looks like on desktop. You can drag and drop files. Um, we went through the requirements already. So make sure you really follow those requirements. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Something to keep in mind is that on desktop, you cannot um, go through your video frame by frame to find a cover. You need to upload a new cover and the only file format supported for covers on desktop is JPEG. So keep that in mind. I tried uploading a PNG and I did not understand why it wasn't working. Not like it said, it must be vertical G JPEG fact. Also, it has to be a vertical file. <laughs> I also tried not respecting the rules and uploading a video that was less than 15 seconds doesn't work. Once all of this is done, you're going to click on post and it will tell you your video is being prepared. We'll notify you when it's done. My video was kind of small, so it didn't take too long. You can actually vis visualize it from there, but this is not IGTV on desktop. This is just, oh, this is what I uploaded. Plus, I don't know if it's going to do it for you, but for me, it was kind of cropped. On the right side it looks fine on igtv but on desktop it just it just kind of looks weird so that's pretty much all you need to know about igtv for now that's pretty much all i know about igtv for now you can find me on igtv of course um, I have two channels actually. I have Level Gale. This is mostly for my professional photography and video. And I have Gale that level. This one I'm probably going to be more active on because it's the one connected to my YouTube channel. So you can also follow me on Twitter. That's at level underscore photo. You can follow my Twitch channel if you're into that. That's twitch.tv slash Gale level. And if you're already on IGTV, I would love to check some of you guys out. Leave your tag in the comment section below. Also, let me know, do you think this is going to be like like a threat to YouTube because we haven't had another platform really be an actual competitor to YouTube. So let me know in the comment section below, guys. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Get level out.